Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create fog in your photos using GIMP. This is GIMP version 2.10.14 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course, before I get into that, I wanna direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP tutorials and Inkscape tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com. And as I mentioned, I have my GIMP Book of Layers, which you can purchase for Amazon or get it free with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So I'll be showing you two different methods for adding fog to your photos. The first one is going to be the easiest and I think produces the best final result. And that's gonna be using some fog stock photos. And I do have a page here on my website with 22 free fog overlays for GIMP. They are in HD quality. You just have to scroll down, click this button right here and it'll download a zip file. I have a quick tutorial down here on how to use the fog overlays as well as how to download them on your computer but I'll minimize this and of course I'll link that in the description of the video. I'll bring up my folder which has my fog overlays in it and you can see that these are just pictures of fog over a black background here and if I scroll through them they're all just totally random. So you can use whichever one fits best in your situation. Again there are 20 of these. So let me just close this out and I'm going to come over here to GIMP this was my final photo here, my original photo plus some fog I added. And what I'll do to start is I'll just go to File, Open Recent, and I'm just gonna open up the photo I wanna use here. I will hit Convert to convert this to GIMP's native color profile. And I'll hold the Control key and use my mouse wheel to zoom out. So here's my image. Let me just come over here and rename this House. Hit the Enter key. So you guys will have your composition open like this. You're working with an image in GIMP. And I'll just come over to the folder that contains my fog and I can drag any of these. I can drag multiple photos here into GIMP. All I need to do though is just click on one of these photos and just drag it directly on top of my composition and release. This will once again ask me if I want to convert this to GIMP's native color profile. So I'll just click convert. And in this case, my photo is the same size as these fog photos that I'm using here. But of course, if you want to scale this, you just need to make sure that you're clicked on the fog layer. Hit Shift S or grab the scale tool here from your toolbox. And you can come over here and drag any one of these handles. You can hold the Shift key to add or disable locking the aspect ratio. So I'll just keep the aspect ratio locked. You can also hold the Control key to scale this from the center. But I don't need to scale this, so I'll just hit Reset and exit out of here. Obviously the big problem right now is that the black is covering the image below and that's not what we want. So what I'll do is come over here and I'm going to change the layer mode and I'll just change this to screen. What the screen layer mode does is it just gets rid of the black here in the image. So now we just have the fog with the transparent background. Now the issue is that part of our fog goes up here into the sky and it just looks a bit too much right now. What I can do is I can come over here to my fog layer and right click and go to add layer mask. And under Initialize Layer Mask 2, I'll choose White Full Opacity and click Add. Then I'll come over and grab my Paintbrush tool. And I'll make sure that my foreground here is set to black, so you can either choose it manually in here, or just come over and click this little icon, and that will change your foreground color to black. And I'll make sure that my brush is a nice soft brush, so I went with the hardness of 0.25 on this brush. And I made it a nice large brush here. Now what I'll do is just paint black on any of the areas on my layer mask where I don't want the fog to show up. So maybe I don't want it up top here in the sky and I don't want it covering up the house. So I can paint all that out with the layer mask. And now what's left is just the fog going on down here. And I can paint some more of the sky out. Of course, if I wanted to paint some fog back, I can hit the X key on my keyboard, which will switch me over to white. And I can just paint anything back that I want in here. And I can come over and control the opacity so I can make the fog a little less intense. So right now this is just one single fog image and it doesn't look great because there's just not enough fog. So I'll come back over here to some of my fog images. And this time I'm going to go with fog 19 and I'll just click and drag this on top of my composition. And once again I'll hit convert. Then I'll come over here and change the layer mode. 
again to screen. So that's going to screen out all the black. This one has a lot more fog going on down towards the bottom, but it again has a lot going on up here in the sky as well. So I'll just right click on this and go to add layer mask and I'll choose white full opacity. This time again, I will switch over to black. I'm just going to paint out the top portion of the sky and maybe some of the stuff going on down here. That's really optional and up to you. And I'm also going to click on the main layer and just turn down the opacity a little bit and increase the size of my brush and just get rid of some of the fog around the edges here. All right, so now it looks like we have a really foggy image here. So that was the first method, but if you don't like using JPEG images in a layer mode, there's also another method which involves using the gimmick plugin. So this does not come with GIMP by default, but it is a free plugin that you can download. And what I'll do is I'll just come over and shift click so that these two layers are hidden. And then I'll come down and make sure that the house layer is my active layer. Then I'll come up here and go to filters, gimmick QT. And I can come up here in the search bar and type in clouds. And here under patterns, we have the clouds option. So this filter is going to randomly generate clouds on top of your image based on two criteria. So here we have density and smoothness, and you can basically just play around with these sliders until you get the settings that you want. And no two renderings are going to be the same. So each time you adjust these sliders, the rendering is going to change and it'll never be the same. So if you do find one you like, just make sure you hit apply. And what that's going to do is apply it directly to your image, but you could change how it's applied by coming down here to output mode. And here you have four different options. So you have in place, which will put it on the current layer that you're on, new layers, which will add this to its own new layer, but it will just add it on top of the house image still in this case. New active layer, which means it's going to add it to a new layer, but it's going to make that layer your active layer or new image, which will put this on an entirely new image. So I'll come up and choose the new layer option. And now when I hit apply, that is going to add the fog to our house image on a new layer. And so I'll exit out of this here. I'll exit out of gimmick. And now if I hide this, here is the before, here's the after. Of course, the issue with this is that the fog occurs directly on the image. You can lower the opacity and even change the layer mode if you want to play around with how intense the fog is. And you can even right click on here and go to add layer mask choose white full opacity, and you could paint out the fog that you don't want in the image up top here, for example. So it's pretty similar to the other method using the black photos here. The main difference is that you can't really scale or transform this photo in any way because the transformations will show up on the original photo below. For example, if I come over here and click on the original layer and hit the shift S key, and now I scale this down, you'll see that it's going to scale down the photo that has the fog on it. So when I hit scale, we're not just scaling the fog, we're scaling the entire photo. And now it no longer lines up, obviously. So I'll just come over here and delete this layer and I'm going to unhide my original two fog layers. So here, if you don't like the size of it or the placement, you can always scale this down. For example, it's only going to scale the fog, hit scale. And I can also grab the move tool and just move this to somewhere else. And I'm just showing you guys this as a demonstration. And come back to the layer mask, grab my paintbrush tool again and just paint the edges. And there we go. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon and be notified every time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.